YouTube's algorithm has recently changed and if you don't want to apply everything that I share with you in this video, you're going to see both a massive decrease in the amount of views that you're getting and the amount of subscribers that you're currently getting on YouTube. That being said, if you simply make the changes that I share with you in this video, you're going to be able to take advantage of the golden era of growing on YouTube. It is easier to grow on YouTube as a small channel, as a large channel, as a medium-sized channel than it ever has been before in the history of YouTube and you need to make sure that you implement everything that I share with you in this video to make sure that you're able to capitalize on it. For example, this creator gained over 10 thousand subscribers in just seven days. This creator over 30,000 subscribers in just 30 days and this creator gained over 3 million subscribers in the last 90 days and gained over a million subscribers in the first 30 of those days. To put YouTube's algorithm into really, really simple terms, you need to understand something. YouTube is not showing your video to people. It's not trying to find viewers for your video. Instead, they have viewers that are actually interested in a topic and then guess what happens? Those people get grouped into an audience and then when somebody uploads a video that gets a lot of click through read or gets a good amount of watch time, ultimately keeping people on YouTube, what do they do? They then reward that creator by giving that person views by exposing them to that audience that they know that they have. This is where most YouTube creators go wrong. The reason that big YouTube creators fall off or that small YouTube creators don't ever take off is because they aren't able to understand this. You need to realize something. You need to know before you upload a video, wow, this video is going to do good because I know that YouTube has an audience for this and this is something so many creators struggle with, which is why I want to share with you exactly how to know whether or not your video is going to get a lot of views on YouTube before you even upload it. But before I share that with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quicker on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, I literally upload a video about how to grow on those platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course. You can get it at the link in the pinned comment below. I strongly suggest you get into it. It's going to share with you things like what hashtags you should be using right now and what time you should be posting in order to get more subscribers. So for starters, you can know whether or not a YouTube video is actually going to perform well based on two different things. One, whether or not videos for that topic have gotten views in the past or if there's search results for that. If you're trying to see whether or not there's search results for that, there are three different ways that you can do it. One, you can use vidIQ and see how many people are searching for a specific topic and they even show you the competition. Secondly, you can go into the analyzer within your YouTube analytics and see whether or not the search volume is high, medium, or low. In addition to that, I strongly suggest you target keywords that have a content gap. What's that? That means is that people are searching for something but they're not actually finding a video that's suitable to that search and this is an easy way for small accounts to get a ton of growth and get growth 24 7 because whether it's a short that's showing up for YouTube search which by the way they do now or a long-form piece of content being able to capitalize this is going to skyrocket the amount of views you get the amount of subscribers that you get and if you're targeting search guess what you get views 24 7 even if you do not rank for that keyword it makes it way easier for you to then get recommended to those people for example I'm creating this video about the YouTube shorts algorithm and about the YouTube algorithm. So guess what happens? Anybody that watches a video about the YouTube algorithm, it could be an old video, it could be a new video, they're going to get suggested my content because YouTube knows that my content caters towards that audience and this is what you need to understand if you wanna grow big on YouTube. I help so many creators grow on YouTube through my mentorship program and guess what? The majority of them, step number one is getting them to realize that they're actually creating content for an audience that already exists, not trying to create an audience. You need to be to tap into that audience, not try to strum them up. And this is where most creators go wrong. So please, before you create a post, make sure that there's actually an audience for that topic. If there's not, then you're not gonna get a lot of views. If you look for something that you're about to post about and you don't see any other videos, well then guess what happens? YouTube has nobody to push your content to and the odds of your video actually going viral are going to be slim to none. Now before I share with you exactly what title you should be using and what topics you should be trying to target within whatever niche you're posting on, I need to make sure that you understand something. When something works on YouTube, you need to double down on it. Luis was able to gain over a thousand subscribers every single day on YouTube in the past 30 days. You wanna know how? By making sure that she doubled down on what worked. When something worked, be it a video topic, be it a title, she continued to do it over and over and over again and that's what you need to do. Let me share with you another story. When I started my own YouTube journey, I used to post about how to grow on YouTube, how to grow on Instagram, how to grow on Facebook, how to grow on TikTok, how to do Amazon ads, so many different things. The TikTok thing blew up and then I spent the next 12 months only posting about that. It allowed me to gain over 100,000 subscribers in less than 12 months. It allowed me to make a ton of money off of YouTube because I was super niche down. You guys need to understand something. When it comes to making money on YouTube, when it comes to being a sustainable creator on YouTube, a lot of times you don't want videos that get tens of millions of views. You can count on your hand how many people have actually been able to sustain this because most people peak out eventually 
eventually whatever they're posting about goes away or they screw up by doing a bad brand deal or something like that. So I wanna make sure that you guys are consistently growing, niche down, able to actually monetize your content and the way that you're going to be able to do this is by doubling down on what works. When a topic works, when a title works, continue to do it over and over and over again. This also goes for the actual length of your videos which is something you guys need to be looking at. For example, if we were to look up something on YouTube, like best crypto for 2022, you see what comes up. There are a bunch of long form videos. What does that mean? You shouldn't make a five minute video on this topic. You shouldn't make a 10 minute video on this topic because all of the videos that are actually showing for this topic, what? They're longer than 12 minutes long, 14 minutes. Guess what? That means that you should be doing the same exact thing and you can take this into consideration for YouTube shorts also because you need to understand, again, if you're competing against these videos, you need to get more watch time than these videos in order to show up in search, in order to get recommended because because you're competing with everybody else that is posting about that topic on YouTube. And now there is a very easy way for you to separate yourself from the competition that I'm gonna share with you in just a little bit, but you need to understand this. And this needs to come into consideration. If you were to make a video about the real estate bubble bursting for a YouTube short or for a long form piece of content, you need to go and look at all of the other videos that were created for that. This is one, gonna allow you to see whether or not that topic is actually gonna work. Two, it's gonna give you a bunch of titles and thumbnails that you're competing against. What does this mean? You should start with their title and thumbnail and make it better? How can you invoke curiosity? How can you make it more clickbaity? How can you get the viewer to click on yours instead of theirs? Or how can you get the YouTube algorithm to actually understand what your video is about so that they're able to push it out? Now that you know that the topic is gonna work, you have a title, you have a thumbnail that you're gonna be doing, that you're gonna be tweaking, what do you do now? You need to make sure that your actual content is better. Now, the actual content being better doesn't mean that there's more information. It could just be that it's easier explained. It could just be that you get straight into it and don't waste two minutes in the beginning introducing who you are and who you work for, which nobody actually cares about. And this brings me to the final point that I wanted to make in this video, which is you need to optimize for your titles or your thumbnails before anything else. If you're uploading YouTube shorts, you need to be optimizing for your titles. Now, what do you need to optimize? You need to be optimizing the actual keyword that's going to be in there. You need to be optimizing to invoke curiosity. And if you want to make really good titles on YouTube, you need to understand a few different things. One, when it comes to YouTube shorts, put hashtag short at the end of your title. Secondly, add an emoji in there that's going to invoke emotion. Now, you don't want the emoji in the beginning of the title because what does that do? It ruins YouTube's ability to actually see what keyword is in your title, to actually see who they should be pushing your content to because the number one factor that YouTube looks at when they're trying to determine what your actual video is about, and there are several factors that go into this, but the number one is your title. So please do not mess this up. In addition to that, you need to make sure that your title invokes curiosity. It needs to do two things. One, get the point across to the YouTube algorithm, what you're actually posting about, and to the viewer. And then secondly, you need to make sure that it invokes curiosity. A title that invokes curiosity over one that doesn't invoke curiosity is going to lead to more views on YouTube because it's gonna to lead to more clicks. It's gonna to lead to more people watching the video. Even if you're just posting on YouTube shorts and you're not relying on somebody clicking the video, they're still going to read the title to see what the actual point of the video is about. And you need to make sure that you're focused on the first three seconds of your video if it's a YouTube short, the first 30 seconds of your video if it's a long form piece of content because the other factor that the YouTube algorithm cares about that we haven't spoken about yet is the average view duration that you're getting. If you're creating YouTube shorts content less than 30 seconds long, you need 100% watch time. If you're creating videos over 30 seconds long, you should be aiming for 90% or higher. Now, how are you going to be able to do this? By optimizing the hook of your video, which means getting straight to the point in your video, doing something that invokes curiosity in the beginning of the video. And this also helps you rank within YouTube because YouTube is transcribing every single video that you upload. So what you talk about in the beginning matters the most for that YouTube video. And YouTube is going to look at that and they're gonna say, hey, he's talking about real estate. Let's push this to real estate people. He's talking about crypto, let's push this to crypto people. So this is how YouTube actually works and this is how you guys are going to take advantage of it. That being said, I know a lot of you guys still struggle with being able to come up with video ideas, knowing what title to use, which is why I wanna tell you exactly what to do for your specific niche to see your account grow in the next 30 days, guaranteed. If that sounds interesting to you, keep watching this video. Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program, which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you wanna find out more, go to the link in the description, but to put it simply, you're gonna go through six steps of becoming a YouTube Shorts expert. Then I'm gonna make you a personalized plan. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm gonna critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm gonna give you your money back, zero questions. 
questions asked. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.